I was actually invited to be a judge on one of the competitions a couple of years ago and from that I've developed the link and over the years I've got more partners involved um, so that we have got a much better competition and we obviously try to work with local sponsors in terms of uh, the retail industry to support the event and it's just a fantastic opportunity for us to go back into the school environment um, to work with the students, um, show some of our passion for the hospitality industry and get them interested. Nice sort of exciting things in terms of the menu and that they worked very effectively. The other aspect is for the schools to know that we are here as their partners as well and so if they do want support in explaining what the university um, experience is like, we know that in the last two years there's been mixed reactions to going into university with high costs associated to it. In our industry it's not particularly a strong area in which students think I can go to university to study this degree. Schools want a opportunity to show their students different avenues that they can pursue after school and we want to be able to be partners with them. And there's a lot of people out there that think it isn't for them. Um, so we hope that through things like the competition that we can actually build those links and make people aware that university is for anyone. We actually invite schools to come to the university and experience, have taster days and find out what it would like, be like being a student here. They can come and sit in lectures, they can you know, come to some of the activities. And what we're looking for in students is not just the numerical qualifications but we're looking for a holistic person who has got a passion for the industry, has perhaps got some experience of working in the industry and it's got a good toolkit really of skills that they can actually bring um, to higher education. The personal statement is where students would be um, <coughs> highlighting their interest through it. So the, it, the industry contact is important, but it's not vital. But there's other skills that come through, so adventure seeking, working with different cultures, because it is an industry that can take you anywhere in the world, because a hotel in Kathmandu and a hotel in New York is a hotel, and a restaurant in London and a restaurant in Rio de Janeiro is a restaurant. So the industry is very wide with a lot of different opportunities. So it's about that thing of thinking beyond just what's in front of you so you will always find a job in the business you might not start where you wanted to start or you think you could start but undoubtedly there's always a job out there and 96 percent of our students are in in employment within six months of graduating um, but also they work alongside the degree so there's opportunities for you to work in a restaurant in a pub in in a hotel and and get that experience while you're <coughs> studying um, and those contacts lead you to in start your network just from day one or day two in the business um, and they go on to do placements with them or graduate schemes or get jobs so mm. that's that vibrancy of about this degree. It's a very hands-on. Um, you've got the theoretical pinning, you've got subjects such as innovation and creativity, you've got your finance, you've got your management, you've got your marketing, you've got your human resources, but then you've also got operations management and leading hospitality. And when we actually get students into the university then the jobs that they're going to get when they graduate probably haven't even been thought about. The course moves at that pace that the industry moves with and try to develop a, and a person who can go out and cope with the change, the actual skills that they need, whether they're on a cruise ship, you know, out in the middle of uh, an ocean, whether they're, you know, in the Antarctic um, running a hotel, which is one of the only sectors that hasn't got hotels just yet, uh, but may have by the time they actually qualify. So I was really, really lucky. I managed to do it um, at Ask, which is five minutes down the road um, from where I lived. Uh, it's fast casual, but it's almost trying to open up a niche into um, slightly better quality fast casual so not quite your halves there's not quite your Frankie and Benny's moving a little bit further slightly better quality of food different style of service so I did a year there started off waitering um, very quickly moved up into supervisory roles took on more and more responsibility there uh, had a fabulous manager there who really allowed me to express myself he said look what do you want to learn I said I want to learn about training and HR and he basically let me do the training and, training and support with the recruitment there, which was absolutely amazing. Oh, so I would love, love at the moment to open up my own, my own restaurant eventually, but I wish to start fairly small. So at the minute, the whole pop-up culture is absolutely humongous. Um, that really appeals, absolutely appeals. I've got a strange thing for working in a kind of burger vans, but obviously more upper quality. But realistically, I think I'll probably end up along a graduate scheme hopefully within HR, and then the small business thing will 
hopefully find its way naturally. Customer service, without a shadow of a doubt, understanding what the customer wants and giving the customer what they want. It's absolutely fundamental. And at the end of the day, that is really what you get the buzz off of as well. Just delivering that perfect experience as often as you can. Don't be scared to actually get out there and just talk to people. Talking to your customers, getting involved with your customers. Don't don't stand off. Don't kind of be someone just standing behind a notepad sort of going, mm, okay. But be a bit more expressive, but really, really engage with them. You'll, you'll gain so much more. You'll really get a really good feeling for your table. And obviously, you know, front of house, you get decent tips. So it's a good way if you want to look at your monetary value. It's a fabulous way. Confidence. Absolutely. Confidence, a real get-go attitude. Just basically someone who wants to learn, someone who's engaging. Try and get on with your manager. Your managers are absolutely human. They're not some scary beast um, I like to think I'm not and so really just engage with them talk to them become friendly with them uh, and then just confidence just have your confidence go out there and just express yourself like I was saying before that will win over the majority of good managers will absolutely love you for that